Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out RedZoneCoins.com for cheap and fast coins. You can use code Zerk for 10% off at checkout. Get a million coins for $45. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over my top 10 flashback players that I would like to see day one of Madden 21 Ultimate Team. Now before we go any farther, I do want to give a shout out to Rockam82 for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to be shouted out in the next video, drop a like in the video. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below Noti Gang. So as you guys can see on your screen right now, there is a flashback Antonio Camardi. So a little bit of a sneak peek here, but I have some reasons as to what players I decided to pick. I think you may want to hear my explanation as to why I want these specific 10 players and I already know 110%. There is no way that all 10 of these players are going to be flashbacks day one. Hopefully just a couple of them are. And I may have a couple of duplicate positions on this list. But that's just because they're players that I would really, really like to see in the game day one as a flashback some exciting exciting players let me know down below your top 10 or even your top five top three whatever whoever you want the most to be a flashback to start off the year obviously i know that they are not going to be 94 overall like this antonio camardi but i went into years past and picked out my favorite flashback players and ones i would like to see back in the game so with that being said, guys, let's get into it. And also let me know down below if you guys would like me to do this with other promos for the game. What other promos would you like me to do? I believe I've already done one for the Legends. So if you guys want to check that video out, you guys can go ahead and do so. But since you guys can already see him on your screen, you know Antonio Cromarty is definitely a player I would love to see. Now this specific Antonio Cromarty was super, super good. But Antonio Cromarty is always a really, really good corner in Madden. Uh, of course, he is also six foot two. Now, if they made the cards similar to how Antonio Cromarty's stats are here, obviously he's not going to be 94 overall. More than likely, the flashbacks are going to be quite lower like they were at the beginning of this year. Maybe you guys see his 94 overall here at 97. Man, this obviously is from uh, a couple Maddens ago, so... The ratings are a little bit different. They won't be this high. Hopefully his man coverage will be around the threshold. Man coverage was really, really good in the beta. I don't know if it'll be as good uh, in Man 21. I'm sure they made some changes to that. They, of course, did up zone coverage and everything like that. But if man is good, I would love to see Crow back, of course. A 6-2 corner should have solid speed, decent against the run, good man coverage, and it's Antonio Camardi. He's an absolute baller. Now, the second player that I would like to see return as a flashback is actually going to be Jimmy Graham. Now, this specific card right here, oh man, this flashback Jimmy Jr. here was absolutely insane. I want to say this one is from Madden 16, I believe. I'm pretty sure it is Madden 16. This Jimmy Graham was absolutely incredible. I feel like it would be really, really good to have a solid tight end to start off the year a good flashback tight end of course this jimmy graham here had really really good catch stats i mean 96 spec catch and 94 overall it just won't happen in madden 21 uh he did have 88 speed 92 excel you know he's not the craziest in terms of speed but that's not really what you get jimmy graham for you get jimmy to be an absolute monster when it comes to jump balls at six foot seven i know we're already gonna have uh, tight ends like travis kelsey george kittle they're obviously going to have some pretty good cards but I think that Jimmy Graham would be a very, very good tight end to do. A nice flashback tight end, a very tall target for us to have. So we have a little bit of competition in there for the George Kittles, the Travis Kelseys, Darren Wallers, uh, Evan Ingram. It'd be nice to have a Jimmy G. Now, I really can't stress this enough. I feel like this one, maybe out of my entire list, is one that is most needed and i'm gonna go into the reasoning why here but notice by the way with the card art i'm pretty sure that is the same card that they used in men 20 uh for the mutt 10 i want to say that's the exact same card for his 92 overall mutt 10 ltd but he did have a 94 overall flashback Julius Peppers. I think Peppers needs to be in the game first up. He just definitely needs to be in the game. I know he retired, but hopefully they got his rights because everyone is going to have Lamar Jackson, or at least the majority of people I'm sure that play Ultimate Team more than likely are going to be pre-ordering the MVP edition, which gives you that base elite Lamar Jackson. It gives you his powered up People are going to have Lamar Jackson powered up, and he is going to be one of the fastest players in the entire game at quarterback, and we are not going to have a ton of good 
fast defensive ends. There's going to be some budget guys, some golds, whatever, some low elites potentially even that have like really, really high speed. But we need someone that's going to have good block shed, good pass rush, all that, and have good speed. Julius Peppers is perfect. Uh, we did have like... Who was it we had at the beginning of this year? Michael Strahan, I want to say, we had at the beginning of this year, which was a good defensive end that was decently fast to kind of help out against uh, quarterbacks that just scrambled out of the pocket a lot. Well, Julius Peppers could be this year's Michael Strahan at the beginning of the year. Obviously, Strahan was a uh, legend, but Julius Peppers, a flashback, could be really, really good. And because so many people are going to have Lamar Jackson, it is so important that we get ourselves a good, speedy defensive end to contain him at the beginning of the year. Peppers would be perfect. Now, I think a lot of people will agree with this one as well. RG3. Now, of course, he did have a golden ticket this year, and I would love to see him return at the beginning of the year to give us a little bit of competition for everyone that maybe can't get Lamar Jackson or whatever, or in general, just have another scrambling quarterback that's going to be fast and fun to use. And as we already know, RG3, I believe, has got the second fastest release in the entire game of Madden 20 so that should probably translate over to Madden 21 he will have a very very fast release in there so this could be some good competition and also it'd be kind of cool to have Lamar Jackson and RG3 two Ravens quarterbacks have really really good cards at the beginning of the year and I think a lot of people would appreciate a flashback RG3 now as I said before I don't really expect to see multiple positions at the beginning of the year so I don't expect this to happen but I think that Vic, if we don't get RG3, Michael Vic would be absolutely perfect to start off the year again. Again, another competition here for people that can't get Lamar Jackson, or maybe something to make people think twice about picking up that Lamar Jackson with the MVP edition. You can cancel your pre-order. Uh, they usually do release like the Mutt database before the game actually comes out, so we could potentially see like a flashback Vic like that. But they like to save Vic for like LTDs and stuff. So the odds of him actually getting a flashback, probably pretty low unless they want to make flashbacks and heavyweights and stuff a bigger thing this year. Actually give us bigger name players with the flashbacks and everything. Mike Vic would be perfect for this. Now this Mike Vic specifically, I want to say was actually in the beginning of the game. I want to say that he was maybe even a starter one or he was one of the first flashbacks they put in after the initial batch. But I want to say he was a starter one, so this Vic was absolutely insane, and obviously a, a lot of people like to pick up Vic every single year, and they'll just stick with him throughout because he's just so glitchy, has great throw power, always has good speed, maybe lacks a little bit more in the accuracy, but you power him up, you're going to be good. Mike Vic is going to get cards, he always gets the Christmas cards, he always gets the ultimate legend. Mike Vic will be good to have at the beginning of the year. Now, if you guys happen to play the beta, or if you guys have been paying attention to the videos I've been putting out, going over all the new Madden 21 info we have, you know there's a lot to do with running backs this year uh, in terms of like their height, their weight, their running style. There's a lot to do with running style this year. It seems like, to me anyways, this is going to be the year of the very, very small running backs, the very elusive, the very shifty running backs. And I think if there's any running back we need at the beginning of the year, that would make the game really, really fun. Like in Madden 20, we had Marcus Allen to start off the year as a legend, and he was disgusting. Yeah, that would be Shady McCoy. Flashback with Sean McCoy to start off Madden 21, I think would be absolutely perfect. Give us a good, speedy, shifty back to start off the year. I don't really see how a flashback with Sean McCoy, and also I believe he just signed, I, I can't remember what, to, oh, Bucks. I think he just signed to the Buccaneers. Shady would be perfect. Now, currently, I believe he is still a free agent. I think he actually posted on either Twitter or Instagram uh, a picture of the Seahawks, I want to say. Like, he wants to go back to the Seahawks. I hope that he does, and I hope he can return to the NFL. But Josh Gordon cards are just so much fun. Josh Gordon is such an interesting player, such an electric player. I think he would be perfect for the beginning of Madden 21 to give us some excitement, man. I really hope that Madden 21, the content, is just really, really good. Josh Gordon is would make for a perfect wide receiver at the beginning of the year at six foot three with good speed with good decent anyways rack ability i mean this card right here 93 overall had 90 juke 90 looseness so if we could see that again i'd love it
As you guys know, in Madden 20, Ryan Shazier did get himself a team captain card. So with that team captain card, he didn't get any other upgrades throughout the year. They, they said at the beginning of the year, if you want to use Ryan Shazier, you have to choose him as your team captain because if you go with someone like Herman Moore or you go with someone like Ty Law, they're going to get other cards, but Ryan Chazier was set as that and that only and wasn't going to get any more cards. Maybe that has something to do with the rights. They have like limited rights to them, I guess. Not really too sure what, why exactly they decided to do it that way, but Ryan Shazier is another card I want to see back in the game. He's always one of the greatest users in Madden, and with how bad usering is going to be in Madden 21, guys, like it's going to be very bad. They said they're not really changing it much from the beta. We need to have the best users possible, and Ryan Shazier is just that. Always one of the fastest linebackers in the game at any point in time, one of the most athletic users in the game. This 93 overall card had 95 jumping. This course Madden 18, though. Uh, great hit power, great speed. Need to see Shazier back in the beginning of the game. And as I said, again, I don't expect it to be three quarterbacks, but I think having Aaron Rodgers would be great. I really can't decide if I want to have a scrambling QB or if I want to have the fastest release in the game instantly, but Rodgers got completely just just messed up this year really in terms of when he got his upgrades he, he did good with his legend card when he got that legend upgrade that card was good but he should have gotten more upgrades i feel and definitely should have had a 99 overall card to start the year off so because of how bad they did him in madden 20 how about you make it up to all the Packers fans, you make it up to all of us because we badly wanted to get a new Aaron Rodgers, a little bit more accurate, a little bit faster, and be able to take advantage of that glitch that we found with Gunslinger where you can like stack it and everything. He already had the fast release in the game, he just needed a little bit better card and then we could like double the Gunslinger, triple Gunslinger on him and just have him be absolutely insane. Make it up to us, give us a flashback Rodgers to start off the year. And the final player that I would like to see, and honestly, kind of upsetting that he wasn't in Madden 20, but hopefully he's in Madden 21, is Cam Chancellor. This is definitely someone that I would love to see return. I uh, did have a flashback in Madden 19, I want to say this is from, uh, but he was pretty slow, you know, 84 speed, 84 acceleration, but kind of similar to how we need Shazier back because he's one of the better users. Well, if users are going to be slow anyways... Just give us an in-the-box safety, in-the-box absolute nightmare safety like Cam Chancellor to use. I would love to see Cam Chancellor back, plus if you got like the avalanche ability, which sounds ridiculous for head-to-head, -head. literally, uh, they have to get three hit sticks and then it enables and they can get l legit a fumble every single time they get a hit stick tackle when you're running towards the line of scrimmage or running like straight on basically. Yeah, Cam would be disgusting. Tell me Cam Chancellor wouldn't be perfect for how Madden 21 seems to be playing out. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know your top 10, top 3, top 5, your top player, whatever flashback player you'd like to see in the beginning of the game. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time.